The St. Patrick's Day festivities are kicking up all around the Sun Coast. Let's go back to Holly Harper at Shamrock Pub in downtown Sarasota. Holly, any leprechauns down there that you <laughs> may have noticed? Just this one, just this leprechaun right here. But we're looking for a pot of gold. Things are sham rocking down here at Shamrock Pub with the owner, Derek. We know a lot of things get dyed green this time of year. So we're going to make something green ourselves. And I have to say, I've never used food coloring in this way. So tell me what we need to do for it because we've got a paper clip, which is kind of yeah. interesting. Yeah, thank you. Good morning. Yes, hello. Uh, top of so the morning to so, you. So, uh, top of the morning, Lassie. <laughs> so, we're going to show all you folks at home how to make a, a black and tan, or I'm sorry, a green beer at home. We did if that you one. Can't, it's beautiful. If you it's can't ready. make it out to the Shamrock, that's okay. We understand not everybody can make it. Okay. Uh, go to Publix, Windexy, wherever. Get your little green food dye. Okay. Uh, op uh, take the cap off, but leave the safety seal on it, okay? Mm. This is the trick. This okay. is a shamrock trick we learned a long time ago. You're going to take something sharp, poke a tiny hole in it. Oh, make sure you're watching. There's, all right. there's the magic. Tiny little hole. That's all you need because okay. you want your beer green, not black. If, if you, I do too much. If you put in too much, it's going to be very dark and it'll be that's, hard to that's, distinguish that's the color. That's a lot of pressure, Derek. There you I don't go. Know. I'll let you I'll open that lid for you. Okay, so you're saying like a half a drop. Just, yeah, oh, barely gosh. squeeze it. Tiny, just, hardly anything. Get another glass ready in case I mess it up. Boom. How about that? Perfect. Okay, okay. You want to pour the beer? You do that part. I'll pour the beer. And we'll watch the magic happen because I want to make sure I stay right, back so everybody go, can we're see. We're going to go ahead with a course banquet. We're going to sell tons of the stuff outside. So we today. want a light color. Very refreshing. Okay, to be able to see the green, right? We're going. Yes. Ooh. I don't know if you can see me. It's coming up. We'll bring it over to the table. Woo! Look at that. That's perfect. Hey. All right. Do we need to mix her up or? Oh, yeah. We're not going to mix it. I'm just going to take that foam off. Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh, look at that. Boom. And green beer. All right. How did I do for my first Beauty. time? I think you're dying beer. Uh, do you want to work tonight? We have an extra uh, shift. I think I'm busy for the rest of my life, right. actually. Um, you can pour beer at 5 to 10. <laughs> I saw you and your son running around behind the scenes getting ready for the block party, and it looked like a lot of work. But hey, you've been doing it for 16 years. Did I get that right? Uh, yes. I'm not great at math, but I think I added up. 14th or 15th block party, 16th St. Patrick's Day. Gotcha. Here, okay. For me. And one more time the details if people want to come out and enjoy it for themselves. Yeah, come out at 3 o'clock, 3 to 9. Great entertainment. It, line up, uh, bagpipers, full pipe band plays at 7 o'clock. Okay. So 3 o'clock we get started with the bagpipes, uh, full Irish entertainment going through till about 8.30. After 8.30 the party kind of changes, turns over and uh, we've got some great local Tampa bands that are going to come uh, rock us till midnight. Alright Derek, you want to know my favorite thing the Irish invented, the Irish goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, you've got to check out the St. Patrick's Day party. You can tell they're having fun at the Shamrock Pub in downtown Sarasota. Starts at 3 till midnight. There's live music, beer, and a lot of fun. Oh, I got to start it early. So good. That's amazing. And coming up in 